that uh, don't wear their helmets in Southern California when they're riding bikes as compared to the rest of the United States, but I still wear my helmet, or at least I try to wear my helmet every single time I get on a bike. That is the is the Woodley Golf Course and driving range. You can pay about four to eight dollars and get a bucket of balls. You're gonna play at least nine holes. 
here. And it's fairly well taken care of. There's also a restaurant. There's wonderful food. out on Woodley. We're taking a left and heading all the way up to Victory. There's the other military base on the other side of the street. It's like a reserve base. right now. There's not to be any cars or pedestrians there so the buses can run freely. But the buses still generate pollution in the busway so even putting the bike path next to it doesn't completely solve the pollution problem when you're breathing hard and working on your bike. Again, this is another designated bikeway, but there's no other place for the pedestrians to walk, so we all use it together. separated from traffic. There's plenty of foliage. Oh, but you know what? I'm going to need to turn around if I was going to continue on and take a left, but we're going to cruise all the way down this path to the right.
just be careful of any low hanging limb. You usually can, you can avoid them by ducking or driving around them. Looking for pedestrians and cars. the 551 currently, exiting Sepulveda Boulevard. They're very nice protected bike pad. Kestra Avenue. We have about a sixth more to go before the amount of storage I currently have is going to run out at this.
while they may have not done what I believe to be a perfect job, they were the only bike company and tune-up group that would even consider tuning the fold-up bike at all. So I would recommend at least calling or visiting Bent Up Cycles, which is on Burbank. Down here just a little ways. A really neat group. There's two gentlemen working in the tune-up shop who have been organized to really help and they can definitely tell when you need certain types of assistance. But they're they're on bikes themselves. I see both of them, or I see one of them at least on the bike lines frequently. All right, we're now on Vesper Avenue. One of the downsides, again, to this bike path is all of the crosswalk signals that you have to keep pressing along the way. There really should be a bike press that you can, you know, use while you're still standing on your bike. It's closer. intersection experience as well. Frequently visiting over the last decade or two, which is Van Nuys Boulevard. 